In this video, we will talk about Bridgetown. There is something that passed completely under the radar about the company recently, and I believe that it could provide some good opportunities to make profits. Please watch the video till the end, where I will share my personal trading approach. Bridgetown is a SPAC, backed by Peter Theo and Richard Lee. A SPAC is a special acquisition blank check company listed on a stock exchange, in this case NASDAQ, waiting for a merger target to combine together. And to put it simply, it is an IPO waiting to happen. Depending on the profile of the merger target, the experience and the prestige of the team, as well as the market conditions, the value of the SPAC can increase significantly. In the case of Bridgetown, it is managed by two very influential investors in this community. Peter Thiel is the man behind two major tech companies, Palantir and PayPal. Richard Lee is the son of the Hong Kong businessman Lee Ka Shing, the equivalent of Warren Buffett in Asia. Richard Lee chairs some of the most influential corporations in the region, such as Pacific Century and Hong Kong Telecom. The purpose of Bridgetown is to find opportunities in Asia to merge with and to be listed on NASDAQ. Bridgetown was rumored to be merging with one of Indonesia's most valuable startups called Tokopedia, an e-commerce company. The stock rose to around $18 at one point in the expectation that a merger will go through. This ended up not being the case, which resulted in a price pullback to around $11 and $12. Bridgetown has three advantages. The first one is the aspect we talked about earlier regarding a solid team. The second aspect is the kind of target they are looking for. The founders are very clear about identifying targets with lots of growth potentials in the future. Tokopedia is a good example of this kind of target. Although the merger ended up not going through, it does showcase what kind of company the SPAC is looking for. The third element is the current market trend. 2020 has been the year of SPACs. Many companies went public via those blank check companies and their values skyrocketed in the stock market if they are in the right sector. Because the market is currently in a phase of high demand for companies that show signs of innovation and disruption, and the fact that they have realized that those SPACs can be literally lottery tickets allowing them to pocket large sums of benefits, investors' attention is highly focused on those companies and are willing to pile in to buy them as soon as rumors of mergers appear. The key in this case is to buy them ahead of time so that by the time rumors kick in, you can use the newly gained hype to lock in your profit. The risk involved in this case are twofold. On one hand, there is the possibility that a SPAC does not locate a merger target within the time allocated to it. In this case, the SPAC has to return the money raised back to investors typically at $10 per share. Let's say you purchase the shares at $12. This means that you would lose $2 per share. With that being said, I believe that due to the profile of the founders, the probability for this to actually happen is relatively low. Both of them are experienced enough in the investment world to know where and how to find opportunities. Regardless, I think that it is necessary to point it out because it'll affect how the position will be structured. The second risk is bad merger. The guaranteed floor of $10 is gone once the merger is finalized. Sometimes the company is not in a sector that is red hot, which may result in the share price falling below $10. A variant of this risk is the greed of private investors who want to water down the shares and play on valuations, which can also result in price fluctuations. Before we move on to recommendations, if you like my content, please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more stock analysis videos. The main appeal to buy Bridgetown right now 
is the relatively low premium that you need to pay in order to get in. For a stock that has been around $18 and a hard floor of 10, I believe that 12 is a reasonable level to start a position. What I would be doing is to pre-allocate a portion of the portfolio to buy Bridgetown shares with. If the stock seems to have hit a support level and rebound from there, I would buy 20 to 30% of my allocation within the next trading day or two. If the stock keeps falling, I would be buying 10% when the market opens and another 5 to 10% of my allocation for every 50 cents of decrease. Due to the speculative nature of the stock, I would recommend a maximum allocation of 3% of your portfolio. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe.